is to see this fat 74 year old out of shape windbag up there just doing the fucking YMCA boogie on a fucking rafter to a bunch of screaming idiots. I, I gotta say, it's kind of impressive. I don't care, uh, you know, just taking all the nonsense and putting it on the side shelf here. Seeing that guy up there doing that, considering he was wheezing like four days ago. You know he wanted to leave the hospital and uh, rip open his shirt with a Superman shirt on underneath when he left Walter Reed. Didn't hear that. Damn, but he got up and uh, did a did a jig to the uh, village people? Oh, yeah. He I mean, little, he didn't do he the did YMCA stuff, yeah. thing. Yeah. Yo, man, yo, man. I mean, I think we just, I stand by the, our statement from, I think, the last two weeks that the bar is incredibly low. <laughs> like that you you described that as impressive. And I'll just leave it at that, I think. It's imp- yes, I did. I will stand by that as well. I'll stand hey, by man. that it's impressive. Considering that we're all supposed to have been sheltered in our homes for the last 7 months or this invisible deadly the covid is going to kill all of us. And then to have the guy whose main staple diet is Kentucky Fried Chicken and Hardy's Cheeseburgers doing the YMCA uh, boogaloo at a rally like 10 days after he was hospitalized. I think that's impressive. Bar's pretty low. 